Hey y'all, if you stick through a little bit of this video, we are on the ski slopes right now, just doing some, some recording. Thought you guys might enjoy this, so stick around through the video and enjoy these beautiful scenes. See you then. Well, good morning, everybody. It is March 28th, 2023, and this is the calm before the storm. Hope everyone's having a great, great morning. Good start to your Tuesday. So we have possibly up to six inches of snow coming. And uh, as you guys know, the season is getting close to the end of it. So I was hoping you might consider coming up here. Hang on a sec. I really do want people in Southern California to get to experience some of the snow for, for the last of it. Um, I don't know how long the resorts are going to be open. I've, I've heard different, different stories, people talking about mid to late April. Um, I'm thinking between the 1st and the 7th, but you just never know. So I'm really, really, really hoping that we do stay open later because I know a lot of our businesses up here that unfortunately lost some business due to uh, the town being shut down for for that week um that that was really devastating for our local business owners you guys so it would it would be really really nice if uh if we could make up for that and get you guys up here so now wow the forecast changed a little bit so we could get a little bit more than anticipated originally and check this out this is really 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 cool to see i don't know if you guys can can read that that's today or I'm sorry tomorrow on Wednesday and then this another one to three inches on Thursday okay so let me read to you what it says it so tomorrow during the day periods of snow high 34 wind southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour chance of snow 90 percent snow accumulating three to five inches they went from one to three inches to three to five inches so that's fantastic and then Wednesday night, cloudy with snow showers becoming a steady accumulating snow later on. Low 21 degrees, wind southwest at 10 to 15. Chance of snow, 80%. Snow accumulating one to three inches and then the following morning or, or day. Uh, variable cloudiness with snow showers, high near 30. Wind west southwest at 10 to 15. Chance of snow, 60%. One to three inches of snow expected. So guys, that's good news. If, if everything works out, that's what? If we get the maximum of what they're predicting, that's uh, 11 inches of snow. So if we get another foot out of this, which usually comes out to about an inch of rain, it, it's not going to have a, it, it's not going to put a huge dent in what's left of our lake level, but it, it'll be something. It'll be something good. You know, any any addition to our beautiful lake is something special, you guys. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's do this. Let's get some more snow. Let's get some more lake level rising. And uh, once again, let's get you guys up here. Clean off this windshield for you all. You guys deserve a clean, clean, beautiful windshield. No, no playing games. Okay, so we are in the very quiet village right now. As I said, this is the calm before the storm video. Um, for those of you who are very new here, the calm before the storm video is basically just to uh, show you what what p parts of the town look like before the storm comes and then when we do the aftermath video it's just kind of cool to compare and contrast what it looks like um, from uh, you know just to see the, the difference in snow in the town I love it I love it a lot and for those of you who were, were wondering about my my doggy? We got the doggy back. My wife went down to LA two days ago because she had a dentist appointment yesterday morning, so she didn't want to have to, to wake up at the crack. She had a few other things to do in the Whittier area, which is her home. When she before she moved here, she's from from the Whittier area. So last night. Our dog came home and I got to see him for the first time since he was lost and found and I am I, it, it was oh my gosh I was I was elated it was such a beautiful feeling thank you guys again for being so supportive through that really tough situation I love you guys dearly dearly I love you guys all right
right, so this is the boulevard. Um, it does seem like when I pulled out of the driveway today that, that there are a few people who came up here. Usually on a, on a Tuesday, this time of year, I'm not seeing that, that many people up here, but there was a bit of traffic. For those of you who come up here, this is no joke. You need to be ex extraordinarily careful of these potholes on Big Bear Boulevard. Um, there are cars popping their tires constantly right now. There was a, a, a line of about five or six cars over near Boulder Bay as you're heading towards the Big Bear Dam to leave town. A line of cars, as I said, about five, five or six cars, and I noticed they all had flat tires. Um, there's major potholes everywhere. I mean, like, major potholes. So please, you guys, please be cautious when you come up here. And I know the snow is going to hide some of them, too. So you just, like, I've gotten so, so used to it. I know where they're at. Even though there's so many, it's hard to keep track. Like, you, you, you just cannot. And you should never take your eyes off the road, but you cannot take your eyes off the road. Because that, that would not be fun. I don't want that to happen to you all. I want you guys to come up here and have a wonderful time. Not spend time at the tire place getting new tires on your vehicle. thankful to have you guys here with me thanks again for watching thanks again for making this channel so special it's the beautiful people the beautiful hearts the overwhelming kindness on this channel which is it's it's there's just it's just very very special it's very very special you guys really really do mean everything to me I'm super excited to see that we're expecting more snow now. Oh, that's, that's going to be so good for the town and our tourism. It's fantastic. So this is Elm Street. We're turning right on Elm Street. And you're just going to take this until it gets to the end and it curves around and turns into a street called Willow. temperature is 46 degrees with 420 left until I'm empty on my gas tank and it's my clock's about 30 minutes fast I still haven't gotten to it to change the time so it's, it's around 9 30 ish now we're on Willow these homes right here are backed up right against the forest so you'll get you'll get bears here in this part of Lower Moon Ridge for sure. I have a friend, he and his family lived in one in one of these houses for about 50 or 60 years. And they just sold it un unfortunately because his he lost his father and his mother couldn't couldn't do it on her own at her age. Very very sad nice nice people here's their place right here or it was their place and uh yeah they he would always tell me about 
bears in their backyard and and one bear like uh as he walks outside he didn't he didn't notice anything and he turned around and there was a big big huge bear right right behind him so bears are prevalent up here you guys i just haven't seen any personally kind, kind of crazy because it's a very small town i've seen plenty of coyotes i think i've seen a couple bobcats i've never seen a bear in big bear okay so what we're coming up to now is uh club view so willow dead ends at, at club view which is right here at the golf course's driving range right here is, is the new zoo we're definitely going to get a zoo video in soon you guys i've never been to the new zoo i really want to do a bunch of recording there show you guys what it's all about do the hokey pokey and just show you what it's all about that's what it's all about <laughs> I know it's, it's early give me a break <laughs> Moonridge Road has some pretty good potholes over here also so once again guys you just got to be super careful these homes over here are on the golf course I'm looking forward to golf season I might be going Sunday obviously not here down in um, Apple Valley trying to get my wife to go with me teach her how to play some golf so we're on club view right now you guys and for those of you who want a place to go sledding without having to pay there is a good spot that I refer you guys to often. I do have a playlist that explains to you and shows you exactly how to get to these places. It's a playlist with just one video in the specific playlist saying like free places to sled. So right here, obviously you come around the corner, there's beautiful Bear Mountain right there, but you just wanna to stay to the right and just go up until this road dead ends and you'll you'll find what I'm talking about. But look at that, it's just so beautiful. it I love it I love it I used to work over here you guys I worked here for one season as a cook and I miss it a lot it was it was a great job because I love being around people I think it was only my second or third year doing this channel but it was cool because people even back then recognized me and um, I just had a great time I had a great time Oh, there's a lot of people here. That's good news. Hopefully you guys don't have any problems getting on the runs. But yeah, there's the half pipe right there. Yesterday, one of you guys, I was sitting in my car and he walks up to the car and it's like, dude, you don't know me, but I know you. I've been watching your channel. <laughs> Super cool guy, Mike, how you doing? And uh, basically, he was telling me the snow was, was, was actually great. Because I was worried, but the snow does look like, it, just from here, the snow looks great. This is where I learned how to ski, you guys. And this whole left side there, that is the beginner's area. As a matter of fact, I might as well drive up there a little bit. Check it out. I'll show you guys some people on the slopes right now and then we'll get the video upload ski. This is where the old zoo used to be. Well, I mean, they really cleared that out quickly. That was the zoo I had been to before up here. 
And for those of you who aren't big fans of zoos, because I'm not really either, this zoo is a great zoo because they take they take animals that have been injured in the wild and they rehab them back to as healthy as they can possibly get. But if they're not healthy enough to be re-released, then they keep them. So we are a rehab center, not necessarily a zoo. chance we're gonna walk out there you guys these snow berms went down big time now you can actually see the slopes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pull up here and hopefully find a place to park for a couple minutes like right there that's gonna be perfect Hopefully no one gets upset at me for, for doing that. All right, hang on. I know parking here is a no-no because they think you're parking here and going skiing. So it's like a quick tow. <laughs> they probably have tow truck drivers, tow truck drivers hiding up in these trees, just waiting, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna pull up right here real quickly, put on my hazards. I don't think that should be a problem to you guys. So let me turn this off for a moment, hang tight, and we're gonna walk out there. All right, let's do this. Oh, the sound of skiing and snowboarding is awesome. I'll shut up for a minute, because I know I don't do that very often. Hopefully we don't. Oh, wow, it's icy. Hopefully we don't kick off, get kicked off the mountain here. Record some of these people. So this is the beginner area. Great, great spot. As I said, it's where I learned how to ski. I took lessons my first time, I was 10 years old. The sun is so bright right now.
know if you guys can see in the background there, there's the lake. get in any trouble but we're just gonna walk out to this little roped off area So it's really bright out here. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Up at the top there, I think that's called Geronimo. I think. Very steep black or double black diamond actually. As a little kid, I was so scared of that run. Oh my God. This lift right here is called Easy Street, I believe. Let's get some more people coming down. You'll see a bunch of ski instructors here, guys. They are so good. They are so good with the newbies, I'm telling you right now. For all of you who have never skied or snowboarded and who want to but are scared, please get a lesson. It does cost a little bit of money, but it's worth every cent because you'll really enjoy your time. And they are so patient with, with everyone. I mean, just so patient. You have to be, but they are extremely patient with everyone.
see if this guy takes any jumps. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Oh, there we go. Nice. I'm gonna get down really, really well just to get a good look at the snow grooming where my shadow is not, even though it's hard. Well, we're gonna go over a little bit more. I know I probably shouldn't do this, but just to feel like we're really in, in the center of this whole situation. I'm gonna go right next to this snowblower. I, I'm pretending like I'm like waiting for someone to, to come down. <laughs> You got like three feet of air. snowblowers they're like airplane engines yeah we are in the middle of the run This is so great, you guys. I really wish all of you were out here, I really do. Because then you've got just these spectacular views coming down, especially the higher up you are, you guys. I mean, these views are something else. Here's the ski lift right here. best snowboarder who ever lived this is where he used to uh, snowboard all the time this is where he learned his game at Bear Mountain We'll leave in a couple minutes.
that guy hauling. Yeah, buddy. Look at this guy's beard games. That's freaking awesome. Guy's got a killer beard, dude. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're gonna head out. We are going to head out of here. We'll catch a couple more people coming down. Just hearing the sound of the snow crunching and these people having a great time. You guys, that's that's what this channel is really all about. The love and fun. Best advice I have for you newbies is if you French fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> All right, let's take off. See my car way out there? It's the only car you can see in the middle of the screen. That's me. All right, this was great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Bear Mountain Ski Resort. We gotta wait for the traffic here to pass us though so we don't cause any problems. We're not supposed to, I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to be on here, but maybe, maybe it, it's okay. Look at that, look at that youngster. That is so cool. Look at that, what a cool little dude. We're gonna go. Look how cool that is.
Make sure we're not getting anybody's way. happens that's one of the not so much fun parts about slip snowboarding you're kicking butt dude Woo! yeah yeah that was awesome yeah he's going off the jumps and everything And down he goes. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Maybe that's Geronimo up there. Or maybe that's Geronimo up there. All right, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed being on the mountain, enjoying the skiing and snowboarding ambiance. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for being here with me. Thanks for sharing this with me. This YouTube experience has been amazing because of you guys. Um, if you guys really, really do, do you know, enjoy what I do, please, please hit the like button. It really helps me a lot. Please, it takes two seconds, and it'll, it could change my life down the road. So I, I beg you guys to please do that for me. Subscribe, share this video, and uh, just have a beautiful day. It's Tuesday, March 28th, 2023, in Big Bear, California at Bear Mountain Ski Resort. So we are gonna finish our drive and then the video will be done. So this is a nice little pit stop, huh? in the car all right guys we're back in the car after these cars or these people pass we are out of here It's so cool seeing seeing folks so happy guys i'm that's what that's what this mountain brings and especially i'm not saying my channel is anything special but what i've noticed is over the years our weather forecasters down the mountain they'll be talking about so much new snow or it's dumping snow up here and then people will will come up and it's not snowing it's raining and there's not nearly as much snow as they're saying because they're talking about the snow at the very top of the mountain peak which doesn't matter like we want to know what it's like right here so my channel really does give you guys that real honest um personal perspective and it's really important for me because i don't want you guys to be bummed out i want you guys to keep on coming
righty then. That was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So we're gonna finish the calm before the storm part of the drive. This is one of my favorite loops, guys, because it's uh, it's a heavily driven tourist type of a situation. Just so peaceful. This is hole number one at the golf course. I can't wait to go golfing. So we are back on Windridge Road, you all. That street that we took up to the top there to walk onto the, the ski resort is called Lassen. L-A-S-S-E-N, Lassen. golf course right here. The head greenskeeper, uh, his name is Mike, and he does a phenomenal job on this golf course. For as battered as it gets over the winter time, I mean, that golf course is always, at least the past few years, in fantastic condition because of him. He does so well. As I said, we're gonna to get to do the zoo and we're gonna make sure that we do it sooner than later. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna to talk to my wife today and see if she wants to do it right after the snowstorm. All right, so we're about to go through the new hole, the new roundabout areas. Here's the first one. Here's the second one coming up soon. All right, guys, we're reaching the end of our video. Oh, thanks, brother. Okay. So once again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sharing this wonderful experience with me. You guys have made this whole YouTube experience just fantastic. Um, love is huge. The respect and kindness is second to none. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much. And please like, hit that like button for me. Hit, uh, hit the subscribe button for me. And uh, share this video. Share all the videos if you could. I work really hard at this. I love doing it. I love you guys. Thanks again for everything. It's March 28th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Peace out.